Isn't it great to know something about psychology when you take part in some very intelligent conversation? Wouldn't it be great to be able to quote some famous psychologists? And how about using their knowledge in our everyday lives? But in our hectic lives, not everyone is lucky enough to have enough time to read that much. Well, I have done it for you. If you're interested in B.F. Skinner's theories, watch this video and find out. Hi, this is Sebastian Antonowicz and on my 5 Minutes Psychology channel I talk about psychology and psychologists. Before I move on, if you're interested in becoming even better at understanding human nature, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Every week there is a new video coming up. And today we are going to talk about B.F. Skinner. It was a very famous psychologist. He is well known all over the world. He is believed to be one of the most influential psychologists of the 20th century. He is one of the creators of behavioral psychology. You may associate him with theories like conditioning, operant or instrumental conditioning, which is widely used in the theory and practice of learning and teaching. Actually, one of the characters in The Simpsons was based on this particular professor. B.F. Skinner believed that every behavior can either be repeated or stopped by consequences. If you use some pleasant consequences, this particular behavior will get repeated. If you punish a person for a behavior, there is a chance that, well, this person will not repeat it, at least for some time. Skinner was also the creator of Operant Conditioning Chamber, also known as the Skinner Box, in which he was experimenting on rats to see how consequences affect further behavior. And he was an extraordinarily prolific author. He wrote 20 books and over 180 articles. As one of the most important psychologists in the history of psychology, I'm sure you will have a chance to use this knowledge in all sparkling conversations that you'll participate in. Ready to start? Well, let's do it! Well, number one, Skinner believed that we should never teach books. We should teach how to love reading. This way, instead of filling your student's head with the words and grammar rules, you actually give them a skill for lifetime. This way, you make them learn this particular subject for much longer and enjoy it. Number two, the real mistake is to stop trying. According to B.F. Skinner, mistakes are a natural element of the process of learning, no matter what you do. This is actually very fine if you make mistakes. It only shows that, well, you are doing something and you can learn out of them. The only mistake that is never acceptable or should never be acceptable is when you stop trying. This just shows that you gave up. Number three. A person who is punished learns how to avoid the punishment. And this is something very important, telling us about the relation between uh, punishment and positive or negative reinforcement. Punishment only stops the person from doing something for a while, but it does not teach them any real valuable lesson or skill. Instead of avoiding behavior, they just avoid the consequence. But if you use reinforcement, so something much more positive in its nature than punishment, you can actually count that they will get some knowledge out of it and that this praised behavior, this reinforced behavior, will be repeated over and over. Number four, if you don't learn how to control your life, you will always blame the fate or luck or bad luck or someone else like your parents for your own failures. It, it is absolutely necessary to take the responsibility for your own life. Yes, you can be more successful or less successful, but whatever you do, go ahead and achieve it yourself. You can make mistakes, but eventually the success is that you have taken control over your life. You are the master of your own faith. No one else, no deity, no luck. Number five, it's all about consequences. In other words, what gets praised gets repeated. If you want a particular behavior to be repeated, make sure that there are some good consequences 
of it. And then, after some time, you will see how effective it is. This is the basic of learning. This is how we can influence our students, our employees, our life partners, ourselves. If you have done something good, praise yourself for that. Make sure you reward yourself for that. Number six, extinction, psychological extinction, is better than punishment. Punishment, as you already know, is just stifling the student and maybe temporarily stopping a particular behavior. But it's not a good lesson of life. Whenever you see a bad behavior, instead of shouting and giving some punishments, a better idea is not to give it any attention. I know it's hard and it takes time and it takes courage to do it, but this is actually, according to B.F. Skinner, one of the best ways to stop students from bad behavior. If you'd like to learn more about B.F. Skinner's theory called conditioning, operant or instrumental conditioning, make sure to watch my other video on this topic and I'll see you next time.